Hello, everyone. I'm the Night Siren. Today we will be looking at paranormal occurrences from the month of February 2016. These range from cryptid sightings, ghostly reports, and some other strange things. Last month in Clop Hill, England, paranormal investigators were searching an old church known for satanic rituals. The two were standing near the road at the front of the church. One was testing the camera on his phone when he caught this creepy video. The investigators believe it to be the ghost of a monk who once resided there. They believed to be alone, and upon checking the church closer, they discovered that it was actually locked, meaning it would have been impossible for a physical person to pass through. I really don't know, though. It kind of looks like a Dementor from Harry Potter to me. In more quirky news, Amazon released a gaming engine called Lumberyard that apparently had a little Easter egg hidden in its terms and conditions. It stated that users were not allowed to purpose their program to operate medical equipment or land in aerial vehicles, with the exception of that a zombie apocalypse were to occur. Some people took this seriously thinking that Amazon knew something we didn't. But honestly, someone that works at Amazon was just really clever and was clearly making a joke due to the overwhelming po zombie popularity. Weirder than that is that someone actually took their time to read through the terms and conditions instead of just clicking accept and accidentally selling their soul in order to become the human centipad. Zach Baggins, Baggins? Baggins? Sounds like a hobbit name. I'm joking. Zach Baggins, an esteemed paranormal investigator and star of Ghost Adventures, has reportedly demolished the dubbed Indian Hell House. He purchased the house back in 2014 in order to make a documentary about its supposed demonic presence. The house has been host to many a ghost story that has affected a great span of people. It has been in the news off and on for several years due to the dark tales attached to it. Former occupant Latoya Ammons and her three children had apparently experienced a multitude of unexplained events, from weird clusters of flies, a odd oily liquid, and a flurry of noises and sights there, also experienced more intense activity. According to Ammons, her children were tossed about, and she herself was strangled. A woman with red eyes is also reportedly seen in the house. While some skeptics think that Ammons may be obsessed with the idea of demons and delusional, she is not the only one to experience paranormal activity in the Hell House. A number of professionals who have been in the house, including priests and police, were convinced of its hauntings. A young visitor of the house was apparently possessed after leaving and needed an exorcism. Not to mention, the audio and photography anomaly is captured am amongst the location. Bagan Bagans himself was incredibly disturbed by his findings that he plans to publish in a documentary later this year. Bagans so happens to be an investigator I certainly respect, despite that his show always makes the really scared guy do the creepy things, and despite my Hobbit joke earlier. I mean, Ghost Adventures just so happens to have captured some of the most compelling evidence I've seen that I sure hope I can find for the video. Is that you making all the noise? Holy <laughs> Oh my god! Holy 
the fact that he found this place so disturbing is rather troubling and that is why he decided to have it torn down. A ski resort in Spain was apparently revealed to be the home to a yeti in a video by a skier. The video caused such an uproar, employees of the resort searched its property to find the monster, but were not successful. Yeah, that's probably because it was fake as fuck. The YouTube vid link said it was removed, and the still picture the article links looks like someone cropped the abominable snowman out of Monsters, Inc. and pasted it onto a picture of the slope. A town in New Zealand has apparently been experiencing vampire-like attacks. The attacks aren't so much people being drained of blood by some sparkly model or Nicolas Cage, but more like drunk people getting into fights and being exceptionally chompy. The weird thing is there have been three biting reports within a week and they're all very similar. The biters were reported as strangers to the victims in at least two cases. The attack always happened during a kind of fight, and in two of the cases the victims ended up in the hospital. Those crazy kiwis. Early in February, an Illinois woman named Carol reportedly saw what she described as a mini mothman. That sounds really cute. Apparently, as Carol was letting her dogs outside, she saw the tiny creature perched on her heated bird bath. She stated that it was paper-like and ghostly, like an apparition. Its fur was grayish and its wings spread nine inches in length. Twenty or so seconds after she spotted the creature, it apparently took off in flight, going straight up in the sky silently. Apparently, the woman had nightmares that night. Now, a mothman that's like a fraction of the size of normal mothman? Call me a skeptic, but that sounds a bit like, uh, you know, a bat. Papery nine-inch wings, tiny and gray. So, I googled Illinois bats and found two gray ones. One is simply called a gray bat. Its wingspan is generally 11 to 13 inches. The other is called a silver-haired bat. Its wingspan is about 11 and a half inches. That's pretty close to 9 inches, and at a distance, it's a simple mistake. While gray bats live in caves, silver-haired bats live under bark and in tree cavities. Both bats are active year-round. I don't know about you, but that's pretty convincing. I mean, mini Mothman, come on. For the last week, Forest Grove, a small town near Portland, Oregon, has been super annoyed by this loud, high-pitched sound. No one has been able to find where it's coming from. This is reminiscent of many other cases in many other locations. In some, the phenomenon is never explained. In others, it was obscure reasons like screaming fish in the ocean. In this case, I predict it's a couple of annoying teens with a loudspeaker blaring some noise from a computer, a flute, or something. Now for my paranormal news pick of the month. This pick represents the most unexplained and most interesting news story that popped up in the month of February. The Apollo 10 mission was a NASA space venture that had a team of astronauts flying around the moon in 1969. To everyone's knowledge, back on Earth for the last 47 years, everything went as planned. However, a formally confidential document about the Apollo 10 mission was uncovered late last month. The paper stated that apparently, as the ship flew around the dark side of the moon, the pilots heard something strange. While the astronauts are on the far side of the moon, they lose contact with ground control. They cannot hear and Earth cannot see them. They are completely alone. 
During this time, all the ship's crew reported hearing what was described as outer space music. So, they were on the dark side of the moon and heard space music. Dark side of the moon, space music. Coincidence? I think not. In all seriousness, the music was apparently coming through Apollo's radio for an entire hour. Just as they emerged back within broadcast signal, it stopped. It was thought to be interference by some people at NASA. Astronaut Al Warden believes it's something more. He says that those pilots knew what they should hear. He believes it's possibly some unexplained anomaly. I think it's possible the noise was caused by the radio trying to reconnect with Earth's signal, but is unable to, which is why it stops once communication is restored. I also think it's possible that the noise was broadcasted by a weak signal and was only picked up when the stronger one failed. Perhaps by little tiny aliens from Mars or something. As to what it is really, no one knows and I don't have a guess, besides Pink Floyd. It's truly an anomaly and one grand reason why space is so mysterious and fantastic. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this new series. Despite writing the script took forever, I really enjoyed doing research for it and learning about all these new events. Let me know what you think in the comments below and about the individual events, what you think they are, and this series in general. I'm gonna start- <coughs> What was that? <coughs> I'm gonna go investigate, guys. Um, I'll be, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm, uh... I'm gonna go check out the that weird noise I heard. Um, and you know what? I've seen Paranormal Activity. Of course, I, I gotta record it. So I got my iPod, and we're gonna go check out that weird noise I heard. Now it's like starting to get really dark, and the hallway light doesn't work, and that that's where it sounds like I, I heard the noise. So I, um, I have a flashlight here that I'm gonna... I'm going to take and uh, hopefully it's nothing there, hopefully, I don't know, this house used to make some really weird noises back when I was a kid and I don't know guys, kind of scared.